Hello everybody, welcome back, it's been a while. The purpose of this video is to do a DCS VR benchmark with the new RTX 4080 Super. Um, we have a Ryzen 5 7600X on board with 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM. Um, now DCS VR, it's a very intensive game, especially in virtual reality. You can get fluctuating frames all over the place. Um, so we are going to push the 4080 to its limits. Well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, right now, the card is being run on an Underworld. Um, let me just pull that up. I don't recall what it was set at. Oops. So I think it's um, nine, 975 millivolts at 2750 megahertz, I believe. So not default or overclocked. It's a bit undervolted. Hopefully to give you sustained, stable performance. So our setup involves a Quest 3 AR slash VR headset. Um, we are going to be using virtual desktop as the interface to, you know, get all the streaming into the headset. Uh, the codec is AV1, latest OpenXR runtime. We have VDXR now, so we will be using that. Um, for settings inside the headset, we have... Um, I'm pretty sure the resolution is set to godlike and the frames per second is kept at um, 90. And now with the Quest 3 headset, especially I think um, with the virtual desktop interface, you have an option to choose whether you want asynchronous space swap. I'm going to leave it off most of the case because if you turn that on, you're going to get all 90 frames per second. I mean, sure, it'll jitter around for a second or two, but... It's not that uncomfortable, it's, it's completely playable with that. Um, but to see how much the card can actually perform, we are going to have to turn that off. So all the three presets that you're going to see is not going to have asynchronous space warp on. It's not going to have it on. Another disclaimer before we start is, I'm not like a professional reviewer. This is from a consumer standpoint um, that I'm putting in this card, not tuning it that much like just basic stuff putting in dcs vr and expecting things to work this is kind of the average you're gonna get without i guess tuning it for the best performance or tinkering all the way along this is just a plug-in and work kind of situation video that we're going to talk about these are the open xr settings the only thing that has been modified inside this is the fixed foveated rendering has been set to um where did it go it has been set to preset uh, quality and wide for mode and pattern. That's pretty much it. Now, before we start this, um, we might get a performance hit because of the uh, Quest headset recording all these visuals plus the performance toolkit and the OpenXR performance toolkit. I don't know why I have both of them up, but some people prefer it uh, to see both. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's go into it. All right, so we are back in the headset. Um, this is the first preset. Everything is set to high. For anti-aliasing, we'll be using MSAA. Um, it's set to 2x. Um, you could go up to 4x, but it's going to tax your performance. Um, all of these sliders are to the right. I think this is uh, pretty intense uh, for DCS VR. So we're going to run with this. We're going to do river run because we can get a mixture of terrain and in the sky performance with this preset. So let's see how this looks. All right. It looks like we've loaded in. I'm going to hit fly. I'm just going to look at my arrow keys. So it looks like this is flying close to the ground. I think we are maintaining around 60 frames per second. Uh, sorry for too much tilt. Uh, gotta, I'm just using my arrow keys for now. So around 60 frames per second is where it's sitting at. Now this is without asynchronous space warp. Latency is at 66. Um, it's a bit high. But with the high settings, this is what we are getting so far. So I guess it goes from 59 to 65 frames per second. Now I'm going to take it up into the sky. Let's see how much frames we have up in the air. Now, naturally, there should be less rendering, so I'm hoping that the frames boost up a bit. 
although with DCS you can't say what the case uh, is I think we're going through the clouds right now so I, I think it's pretty much the same deal it could be because it's cloudy but I think 60 FPS is your average um, in this situation you can get a you can hit a consistent 66 now this is all maxed out everything is pretty much high so this is what it looks like on the 4080 super now for the second preset um, we are just going to change um, the type of anti-aliasing from MSAA to um, DLAA with upscaling with uh, DLSS so that's all Nvidia magic right there you're gonna hit OK and run the same river run again. Just waiting for everything to load back in. I'm gonna hit fly. So this is on the ground. We have 80 frames per second right now. So it jumped up. That's an extra 10 frames. Latency is also, it looks like it has decreased a bit. Okay. Arrow keys are terrible. I should have set my joystick up. Um, but overall in terms of texture quality even when you're looking at things uh, there's a there's a slight please don't crash there's a slight blur I would say compared to MSAA but it's very minute I don't think you'll focus on that when you sit like with 20 minutes of gameplay you're not gonna notice that so around the ground you have an increase of 10 to 12 frames I would say Going all the way up into the sky, um, I think we should be able to hit a 90, it might be possible. So let's even out, we're getting 88, so it's kind of not, con I don't know, it's jumping around a bit, but it's definitely high, it's smoother than before I would say. Uh, slight bits of stuttering, but around 82 to 88 frames per second in the sky with DLAA and DLSS. Alright, now this preset, it's just gonna be the VR preset that's present inside DCS. We're just gonna give that a shot. Oh, I'll have to restart my game. Gonna get my arrow keys. Um, this looks pretty sharp too. Not bad at all actually. I mean, it looks sharper than um, how it is with DLSS enabled, but I think we're getting 82 frames per second, 80. So with, with the 4080 Super, I think you're pretty much good with DCS VR. I think um, everything is good. Now, there might be a performance hit because of all the recording, the performance toolkit, all of that. So. Uh, that has to be accounted and that's probably why it's stuttering quite a bit um, but we have good frames on the ground going into the sky for a bit um, and this is without DLSS or DLA and let's see probably not high enough yeah, we it's it's kind of consistent, um, 68 to 74, I think that's a good range where it sits at, um, and everything is looking pretty good. But this is the inbuilt DCS VR preset. This is what it looks like. So I would say the RTX 4080 Super is, I mean, I think that's the only high-end card after the 4090 that you can get at a decent price. Um, I think that should satisfy your DCS VR pleasures. I think it's a great card. Um, with it, and I mean with AMD 7900 XTX, um, it is a very powerful card too. But the thing with the card is, in VR situations, it might perform better in some games than the other. It, it's not quite optimized as Nvidia is. I feel like with Nvidia, you you're gonna have a consistent VR performance. Um, or your expectations are gonna be um, pretty optimized or 
you can expect things to work normally for everything with the AMD. It's not gonna be the same, even though it's pretty powerful. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a good day ahead.